Hi everyone, this video has been brought to you by freedomfromalldebt.com. It's not our debt.com and defendourhomesleague.ie. Please enjoy, we have an interview after the video. Thank you. And, uh, I have an order and I'm not showing it to anyone, I don't have to show it to anyone. Excuse me, John. Mr. John. Wells can see it if he's welcome to see Mr. it. Mr. Wells said, can you see the order here? Have a look. John, I just, sorry. Guards, are you on your oath here today? Sorry? Are you on your oath here today? We only have access to the shut up. Yeah, but are you on your oath here today? Guard oath. Are you on your guard oath here today? I've no comment to make the oath. No comment okay, to well, it's on YouTube anyway, so the guard you aren't even on the road. Do you know your oath? Uh, Come on, have a look. look. Yeah, have a look. Have, have you identification? No, I don't have identification. Well, well you don't you, we don't know who you are. That's a piece of paper. There's the warrant signed by the county registrar. Yeah, but who are you? County sheriff. Pat Dunn is my name. Right. Mr. Wilson knows me here. Yeah, but are you the sheriff or not the sheriff? I am the here uh, representing the sheriff. I'm representing the sheriff. Yeah, but we, yeah, we rang your office sheriff, yesterday and you told us outside sheriff. you were the sheriff. Why is the sheriff not here? Well, you didn't speak to me yesterday. Tell you the truth. You no, we rang your office. Yesterday. We rang your office and they're all saying you're the sheriff and you're not the sheriff. I am the sheriff. Yes. You're not the sheriff. You're not, you just, you're you're just said you're deputy sheriff. Are you the sheriff? Hold on, hold on. Are you the sheriff, no, 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 you the sheriff or not the sheriff? Look, I've no further comment to make. Then, the okay, but well then, sheriff, go on about your business then, because you know business here. I'm, I'm here on the authority of the courts to execute a warrant. Yeah, you, that's right. And we haven't seen the warrant, nor have we seen the court orders yet. And we ask you who you are. Right, and you said you're assistant sheriff. Why is the sheriff not here today? That's the court order. Who signed it? Who signed it? Federson. The sheriff has signed it. Yeah, but that's the, the sheriff. That's the warrant, yeah. Yeah, but that's the sheriff. Yeah. The sheriff is signing his own orders. I'm sorry. Mr. Mr. Wilson has gone through the courts. I understand that. He's appealed it. I understand. We know up, that. I know down right up to the high yes. court. And our instructions is to execute yeah. the warrant. Exactly. But I'm saying to you is, your warrant is signed who by the sheriff. Who ben Gilroy is my name. Yes. Are you and who are you representing? I'm representing Defend Our Homes League here today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Now, okay. what I'm saying to you is, that order is signed by the sheriff. Yeah. Right. So he's making his own orders as a private company to come and no. take homes. Look at This is fully paid. legal. Okay. Not it's what? If you want to go to the courts and contest the order, you're more than free to do it. Well, hold on, but should the, the registrar is the guy up on the bench where we're doing the orders and he's signing his own orders and coming as sheriff then to inflict them. Yeah. You think that's legal? This order has been through the court. I understand that. Yeah. But the person who gives the order is the registrar, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Yes. In some he cases, has jurisdiction, in, in some yes, cases. except Dublin yeah. Cork, that's right. But in, in Leash it is. Yes. No, it's not always in Leash. No, we're talking it's about the registrar in Leash. He's yes. the same, he's the sheriff and the registrar. The sheriff, the county registrar, exactly. Yes, that's, that's, so that's, that's my title. point. He's right. the sheriff, so that's registrar. not lawful. He, ha he sits up yeah. on the bench well, with his registrar's hat on, makes an order, yeah. steps down, puts on his sheriff's well, hat, and now makes money out of inflicting these orders on what people. What do you mean makes money? He's making money as registrar, or as well, the sheriff. He's implied as county registrar sheriff. I understand. I've no problem. I have no I understand. I've no problem with a week's wages yeah. as registrar. Yes. My problem yeah. is when he gives an order, he steps down off the bench and well, is a private company then acting as sheriff. If you have a problem with that. We have a huge problem with that because well, it's not lawful and we're asking the guard to uphold up. the law take today. Take it up with the courts. No point in taking it up with me. But the point is, when I'm saying to you about the sheriff's office, when I go to the courts, the sheriff then puts on his court hat. That's totally that's illegal and there's no separation of powers there. But, but if it was illegal, why is it been going on for generations? Because no, it hasn't been going on here. It has. I tell you, okay, I tell you why. Because now the people have educated themselves and they're not people with pitchforks anymore. Right, yeah. They're educated yeah. people to stand up to the likes of you come and doing these orders. Mr. And we're asking Mr. the Gardaí today Mr. now Wells to said, uphold the law. Mr. Wells said went into the courts and appealed it on various grounds. And towns. what business of that is yours? Like what I'm saying to He's you is done. you're a private company. I'm not a private company. You are. Who are you then? I'm here from the Sheriff's Department. And who pays your wages? The, the Sheriff, the yes. Civil Service. Yeah, yes, private. exactly. They're a private company though. They act on commission. We're not a private. They act on commission. Who does? Do they act on commission or not, the Sheriff's Department? I get absolutely <coughs> nothing <coughs> whatsoever for this today other than my week's pay. wages, which I will get on Friday. And it's a proud week's wages to get. Well, Come well, and take Irish I family homes off you. Look, I'm sorry, I don't take any pleasure out of this no more than anyone else. Right. I have well, to say, look, and I'm, all I'm saying to you is, I've been doing this job for almost 31 years. Right. Tell you the truth. And my work has never been questioned. Right, well, and I've never well it's about time it has been. I've always been questioned. I've always been questioned. 
in as much a business like fashion as right. I could. Well, and then, then let me ask you then. Right, well. well, when you have that sort of fairness then, do you yeah. think it's fair that the registrar, right, makes an order to repossess a house and steps down and puts a sheriff's hat on what the and comes in? What the registrar does is way above me. To be honest with you, that's not the question I'm asking you. But you're, I'm not but you're here on behalf of him today. Well, I'm asking you. It's fair or unfair, it's not my job to come Well, like, is, is it lawful then? Well, it obviously is lawful. Why? 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 Obvious yeah, to yeah, who? I mean, to most law. people, it's not it's obvious. obvious. It's obvious that the courts say it's fair. But he is the court. He is the court. Is that's the court. like asking is. me, is it fair that we don't let you in here today? Well, sure of course not. that that's fair. Look, could you keep going around that circle forever, I'm asking so you a question, could. though, and I keep asking you the same question. Yeah. The registrar gives the order, yes. then he puts on his sheriff's yes. hat and tells you go and uh, repossess the yeah, home. Exactly, and yeah. you think that's fair. That's right. Yeah. And lawful. Yeah. Well, well, I'm telling you, it's, it's not. Mm. And I'm asking the guardie today to uphold common law, which they're sworn to do. And this is not yeah. common law. Now, also under the Constitution, a man's house is inviolable under the Constitution, except as to law. What law did this man break? I'm not saying he broke any law. Right, but then why are we here? He broke no law. The guardian here? should represent the Constitution. I'm not here because he got a mortgage which has to be paid. Yeah, but the bank and got paid for it though. Mm -hmm. No, the bank got paid for it. The bank got paid for it. Securitisation. The bank got paid for it. If they did, I wouldn't be here. Now look, look, hold on a second. What I'm saying to you today is, under the Constitution, Section 40, Section 5, Subsection 5, a man's house is unviable under the Constitution except as to the law. We're all law-abiding people. And what I'm saying to you is, respect the law and the Gardaí should respect the law as well. The common law which they were sworn to uphold. Mm -hmm. And the man has not broken any law, so his home is unviable. Well, why am I... I don't know why I'm standing here today. Yeah, but neither do, neither we. do we. We're saying the same that's thing. All the case. But the court judgment is signed by your yeah. boss, the sheriff. Well, I mean, if, if, if everything you say is true, uh, what's well, your name? Will I show you the Constitution? I don't see the Constitution. I'm not a solicitor. You don't need to be a solicitor to see the Constitution. I don't want to see the Constitution. Well, the guard will tell you what the Constitution is, I'm sure. You've got sufficient time to go back into the courts with the Constitution. We'll be going back into the court, but well, what why haven't you done it before today? Because there's a challenge before the courts, and we're asking you to hold on until such a time as that's heard. Yeah, but your Mr. Wilson got a, a stay of execution. Signed by your boss. No, yeah. he didn't. No, he but went your to stay. The high, he yes, went to the I High Court that. and got a stay of execution, that's right. which no longer stands. Yes, I understand that. Yes. But the yeah. judge at the time yeah. was not aware that there's a constitutional yeah. challenge being made as to the power of the registrar. Yeah. A registrar has only got the um, jurisdiction of something like 36,000 in the circuit court, am I right? Are you telling me this yeah. house is worth 36,000 or he hasn't not, stepped out of jurisdiction? I'm, I'm not going to, right. going to value on the of house Of course, at all. yeah, well he yeah. stepped out of jurisdiction. Yeah. I can tell you it's more than yeah. 36,000. Well obviously the order was, was uh, fully okay. For obvious when, to who? When, when the High Court dealt with it. But that doesn't matter. What I'm saying to you is the High Court is not above the Constitution in this country, nor is it above common law. They're commercial courts right, and they've no jurisdiction here. here. Right. This is it, yeah. Right, well then. Well, Look at, guys, this is the law of the land. It's not operating under the laws of the we're, we're not going to do one today because obviously uh, you're uh, preventing us from doing anything. We're not preventing. No, I'm only asking you to go and check the constitution and find out I'm where the referendum took place that says yeah, yeah. a man's house is now viable it's when he doesn't break the law. I understand if a man, if a man commits murder out there and runs into a home, I agree the guard he can go into the house because yeah. that house is viable. You can go into it because he has broken the law. Mm -hmm. But that's the only case under our constitution where a man's home is, vi is viable. Well, and that's the con I didn't make it up. I mean, go home well, and read it and tell me I'm wrong. Well, I'm not making it up either, tell you the truth. But I mean, why am I getting warrants for possession of property? You, you should be questioning it. We're here questioning it. Why, 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 should, why, should I'll I tell que you why. why should I question a judge of the High Court? Who is way above but me. he didn't That's give the, the order. Yeah, he didn't give the order. Your order was signed by your boss, the sheriff. He made the same mistake. He put a stay on the order. Yes, but but the your order, order here, I understand that, yeah. but your order is signed by your boss, the yeah. sheriff. Okay. Right. That's the role fine, yeah. of the sheriff was to protect people, you know. Yeah. And it's so antiquated and ancient that you're coming and enforcing these laws. Mm -hmm. Now our new laws, the constitution, are well after the Shire Reef laws came. Mm -hmm. And the Gardaí are here today under common law, which they're sworn right. to uphold. And that's the, Gardaí, the constitution. The Gardaí are here today I have great respect for my for protection. Why do you need to be protected? Oh, 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 that's why they're there. Why is anybody attacking you? There's nobody attacking you, is there? 
but you're he, making he, it out like he, you need protection. It has happened. I understand. It has happened. Well, well look, it, there's nobody here to change it. always the case. Yeah. I understand. And that's the reason why the guard is. So I understand. Be, you needn't be trying to drag these people into it. No, we're we're not not you brought them. You brought them. We didn't bring them here. No, but you're using no, you're, 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 you're every talk. little twist and angle Hold on, to, to benefit yourselves okay, here. But That's me, what you're doing. Okay, give me a chance. Yeah. Yeah. I have no axe to grind with the Gardaí. I think they do a terrific job yes. when they uphold common law, which yeah. they're oath to do. And that's yeah. all I'm asking them to do. Don't pretend I'm against Gardaí. I'm not. I, I, I have never, never been were, in yeah. trouble with Gardaí before in my life. Yeah, I never so said So I don't were, yeah. have any trouble with the Gardaí. Mm. I respect them. But all I'm saying is that they also must respect the constitution and the laws of this land. Mm. You're coming with old Shire Reef laws from the UK, which we quick out of here years ago. Right. Right, and that's all I'm saying to you. Now you're also saying why should you question why the order why given? Why haven't you with all this stuff long before now? Because Lee only got in touch with me and I only knew he was getting repossessed so we intend yeah. bringing cases yeah. back before the court. But he's gone, Lee has gone to the court himself that. and appealed all these things. Yeah, but he, Lee there wasn't educated about it. He yeah, he wasn't well. educated about it so yeah. we're educating him. Well, we're and that's all, we're yeah. asking this you to it, respect yeah. the constitution. You're not above the constitution, you will agree with that. Oh yeah. Well then have a look at section 40 and come back and if you think we're telling Untruth, well, it's, it's, that's not, fair it's not up to me to, do, to deal with them matters, to be honest with you. You're you going know. to break the constitution because breaking, you're told. I'm not breaking anything. I was just following <laughs> orders. The constitution. Can, can you go and check it out? Could you go and check it out and just see if I'm right? I'm not going to check the constitution whatsoever, no, it's nothing to do with me. Constitution? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's everything to do with you. It's nothing to do with me. I've, I've been sent here by the sheriff that's to what execute the a warrant. So the sheriff's department is above the constitution? Well. He's got the order, it's been appealed. I, no, that's not the question I asked. Yeah. I said, is he above I'm, the Constitution? I'm not saying he's above the Constitution. But, but, but it doesn't said, appeal to you Mr. Wellstead has appealed this order, yeah. and he's gone to the High Court. That's fine. And yet, the order still stands. That's right, but it's in okay. conflict with the Constitution. So, yeah, so, so why, we need to why bring is, a case. We have a case before the courts coming in April. Why did the High Court say, well, I'm sorry, the County Registrar couldn't give this order Because they're a commercial court for making money, that's why. They're a commercial court. That's why when the yeah, Gardaí act as way, policy yeah. enforcer, that's where we get the way, word yeah. police enforcer. It's not a matter of seeing it's, it that way. Well, it seems that's It wasn't the common law court, was it? This is it, yeah. It wasn't the common law court. Well, it, no, it wasn't the common law no, court. Well, then no. it's a commercial well, court, yeah, this right? Is it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, this is so, it, yeah. And that's what I'm this saying. It, yeah. So that is not under the Constitution. Yeah. We here mind. represent the Constitution of right, Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all we're saying. We're not here threatening anybody. You never yeah, threatened. Yeah, but obviously you're not going to allow me in to... to no, but you're, we're only asking to you if the right to duties. come up. Who owns Ulster Bank? I do who owns Ulster Bank. Her Majesty's Treasury. Well, Her Majesty's Bank. Well, Her Majesty's Treasury do. The Royal Bank of Scotland. But you're here doing our work against our constitution. That's fair enough. Absolutely. That's fair enough. There's no international treaty there. Did Lee ask that when he was borrowing the money? No, he didn't because he wasn't educated. But we're educating him. He wasn't educated. No. But you're not very educated yourself. You told me you didn't know the section and you're doing. You're the one enforcing it. For the last 30 years. For the last 30 years. And the constitution, you don't need to know the constitution. Yeah, but look at it. wrong for 31 years. I deal with people every every other day. Look, you seem well. like a nice man and to me. All they're interested in when they want to buy a piece of property Anton, is where they can get the money. Exactly. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The but hold on a second. When they can't when when they when can't the banks, pay it back, it's okay. a totally different it story is. with I them. agree with you, right. Yeah, that's but right, when yeah. the banks got into trouble and broke the laws and looked for the money, the Irish people didn't that's go right. evicting them like they should have. They were well, made bail the people out. Yeah, that's and that's true. another injunction yes. we're bringing. Of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the point. Right. And can you prove to us today that the taxpayers' money who bailed out the bondholders are not some of the bondholders in Ulster Bank? No, I can't. Why is that? This is it. Well, you see, that's the homework you should have done when you were this claiming it, Lee yeah. wasn't educated. This you should have educated educated. yourself. I'm not claiming he's not educated. Yeah. Look, you seem like a nice man. I don't want to get in an argument with you. All I'm yeah. asking you is respect the constitution and this common law in this land and go and just check. If you find you're right, come back. The, yeah. banks, yeah. the banks have also okay. securitised this mortgage. Right. Thank Thanks you. very much, guards. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry guys. <laughs> it sounds like an argument. <laughs> is his name. What? is his name.
get them driving away. Excuse me, guys, let me out. Forty-one years. That's out there. Sorry, let's out there. Sorry, there, boy. Stand back a bit. Guys, round of applause there. Bye bye. <laughs> if everyone in the morning was as good as that one, the morning. Hi Ben, how are you? Good. I saw the video. What an amazing piece of work. How is it that you stopped the guards, the sheriff, and they had court orders and everything to take the house? How how was that possible? Well, the court orders, as you've seen, were signed by. Um, by the same department as the sheriff. I mean, the county registrar is the sheriff in all counties except Dublin and Cork. And this is absolutely no separation of powers, as I explained to the sheriff. Um, so I find that unlawful and um, conflict of interest. So why did the sheriff lie about being the sheriff? He said he was the sheriff and then went back on it and said he was the deputy sheriff. Well, I think they actually know that there's a huge conflict of interest here. I mean, of course they know. So rather than highlight it, he would come and say he's the sheriff because the order is signed by someone else then. But when I pointed out to him, because I already knew who the sheriff was, when I pointed out to him that the order is signed by the sheriff, now you can see how ridiculous it is because the sheriff is signing his own court orders. Sure, if I could sign my own court orders, I'd be a very wealthy man. <laughs> Yeah, so you said that the sheriff is signing the court orders as the registrar. So is, this, is it just a case of he's just finished in court and then he goes and puts on his sheriff hat? Or what does that work then? Yeah, I mean, he, he acts as court registrar, so he has his registrar's hat on. So he's like a mini judge. And he makes a decision to forcibly take somebody's property. Now he steps down off the judicial bench and puts on his private sheriff's hat and goes out and profits from this. How? How does he profit from it then? Because as the sheriff, he was representing now a private company and he basically works on a commission basis. Hang on, a private company? I thought the sheriff was employed by the government. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't understand that. Then no, explain no, that to me. No, he works for the government, but it's a, a private company. Okay, that's fine, fair enough. So, can you explain the non-separation of powers there? Like, I know they're the same person, but... Is this not the, the done thing? Is this not the, the practice in Ireland? Well, it is. Uh, unfortunately, it is, and people need to educate themselves, and that's why we put this video on YouTube, to try and educate people. Um, now, there are a number of other issues as well, like constitutional issues, and um, you'll notice I quoted from the Constitution, and it's here for everybody to see. It's under uh, Fundamental Rights and Personal Rights, and it's Section 40, Subsection 5. And says, the dwelling of every citizen is inviolable and shall not be forcibly entered, save in accordance with the law. Ben, you're using all these big words, and I, they don't really make sense to a lot of people. What is inviolable? Okay, well, inviolable means secure from trespass or assault. And it also means that it's sacred. Now, it's not obviously a big word I use. It's in the Constitution, so our forefathers were quite educated. But it's a terrific word and explains that the house is secure from trespass or assault and is sacred. And so what the uh, sheriff was trying to do today was trespass against the house, which is unconstitutional. Now, it does say save as the law. So the law is law of the land. That would be common law or what's commonly sometimes called natural law. So it's not the law, the fact that he came with a signed order from the judge saying that? No, he would have to come with a signed referendum of the constitution. Brilliant. Um, so something I wanted to ask is, which bank is it that's bringing the, the case against? It was Ulster Bank that went looking for this um, order today and um, Ulster Bank, as you know, ha has 70% um, ownership by Her Majesty's Treasuries now. And that's maybe why they brought in the old Shire Reef to take care of business. 
Yeah, I was going to ask you about the Shire Reef Law. Um, I know there's a few questions being asked about the Sheriff's ability to enter the house. And apparently in Ireland there doesn't seem to be a problem with the Sheriff entering the house. What's the story with this, Ben? Well, there is a problem for people who understand common law and who know the Constitution. There's a huge problem with the Sheriff entering the house. And his laws date back, even you'll hear the Sheriff on the video say it, from hundreds of years. And that's quite correct, but our constitution in the 1930s has said that that's not allowed. So we had a Law Reform Commission look at this some time ago, and they did say that the sheriff entering the house forcibly is unconstitutional. Right, so you've got basically the practice in Ireland is the sheriff just goes into the house, but yet the constitution kind of just says he shouldn't be in the house, and the Law Reform Commission said he shouldn't. So, like, which takes preference, Ben? Well, common law always takes preference in Ireland because common, uh, Ireland is a common law jurisdiction. And you can see that the Gardaí behaved extremely well today because they were on their oath for um, common law. That's the oath that they take uh, to uphold common law. So that's what they did. And I commend the Gardaí today for doing that because they just stood back and upheld common law. And common law wins every time, obviously, in a common law jurisdiction. Um. Do the courts recognise common law? Is common law in the constitution? The common law is basically is the constitution, among other things. I mean, the common law dates back to before Christ's time, so that's the common law, and that's why it's it's been tried and tested for a number of years on on the land, and it's a perfect law. There's nothing wrong with it. If it lasted that long, it'll last till I'm well and gone. Right. Look, Ben. I'd like to say thank you very much. Again. I'd like to say a big thank you for everybody who helped. DefendOurHomesLeague.ie FreedomFromAllDebt.com It's NotOurDebt.com There's many, many organisations out there. If you're in Ireland, there's many organisations in your area who are willing to help you. You might not know of them, but they are there. Again, if you go to FreedomFromAllDebt.com There will be a links page there where you can get the information of groups in your areas. If not, ask someone in your area. Contact DefendOurHomesLeague.ie Again, we hope this has been helpful and informational.